The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Runner goes to second, and the throw from the catcher, Stevie Berman, is wide into the left. It's caught by the shortstop, Brendan Davis, but sliding up to second safely is Victor Padron. And with one out in the inning, West Michigan has a runner in scoring position. The 1-1. A ground ball up the middle, scooped up by Bueller, the pitcher on the hill. He throws the second for one, down to first. It's a double play. 3-1. A line drive, caught, no, out of the glove with a shortstop, Brett Pirtle. Now the payoff. And Janko chops the ball over the head of the third baseman, Jose Zambrano. It's down for a base hit in left field. Here's the righty Spencer Watkins into his motion, and Eric Mesa, the lefty, pulls one through the hole and into right field for a base hit. First baseman Will Allen dove to his right. Just behind him at the cut of the grass, the second baseman Will Maddox, and neither of the Wills was able to squeeze that baseball. It leaked into right. The break even, and it's another handler dropping down in left center field. Just a cued base hit for McKinstry. And Landon comes down the line from third. Two to nothing, Lou. The one strike offer. He cues the ball up the right field line and down for a base hit at shallow right. Eric Meza gets the wave around from second base. The throw from the right fielder, Haverlack, goes to the second baseman. Now they have Tubbs caught in a rundown. He maneuvers his way around the second baseman, Maddox, who is trying to apply the tag and is finally called out by base umpire Isaiah Barba. The pitch, and it's sent again the opposite way. High fly ball to left field for Sage Janko. Camps underneath, and that's enough to score the runner from third. Joey Haverlack tags and touches home plate to bring West Michigan within one in the fourth inning. RBI fly out for Will Maddox. The pitch, a fly ball hit out to right field. Averlack is back at the track. He reaches up and he dropped the baseball. It comes to a halt in the warning track. McKinstry up to second and he's in there safely. Looked like Averlack had that one in his glove, but then you saw the ball laying to his left. The one two. Ripped up the middle and into center field. That's a base hit. Giving the green light around third is Victor Padron. The throw home pulls Berman, the catcher, up the third base line. Everyone is safe. Padron scores, and West Michigan grabs a 3-2 lead. It's the lefty Eric Meza facing the righty Spencer Watkins. Meza flies a high ball deep to right field. Looking up, Joey Haverlack in right. And it's out of here. 368 feet off the bat of Eric Mesa. His fourth home run of the season. The one strike is lashed into center field. Middle depth, deep enough to score Gibson from third. Logan Landon back into his right, makes the catch. And there's Gibson coming down the line on the tag. Swung on and missed, he struck him out. And that's the ball game. West Michigan comes into Dow Diamond and wraps up this suspended game with a 4-3 win over the Great Lakes Loons at Dow Diamond. Here's the pitch to Omar Estevez. And it's tugged up the middle. To his left is shortstop Lafita. The throw to first retires Estevez, but in to score from third is Jenko. Out of the playoff race entirely. 3-2. Liner up the box into center field, and it sinks right into the glove of Jose Azokar. But it is not a base hit. It touched the grass first. So an RBI single for Logan Landon. One strike pitch. The big curveball sent over the head of the third baseman, Pirtle, and down for a base hit in left field. It hugs the line. Estevez, a wide turnaround first, now retreats back to the bag. And Sage Janko comes in to score from third. Two and two. Soft line drive right back up the middle and a dive in short center field to his right by the second baseman Omar Estevez. Strong as well. The 1 0. It's sent through the hole on the right side on a couple big bounces. It's a base hit. In to score from third is Cam Gibson. Opposite side. The 1 2. A curveball. And there it is. A called strike three. 